Very quickly in this series, how can these rookies perform going against the best team in the game in their best game mode? Gio, he's been a shooter for the squad. It is land time, though. Got to bring it to the table. We're going to start off with Gio. Into the opening hard point, we fly, and it's an exchange of nades just to get things going. P1 here on Rio, obviously, chance absolute mania. Uh, there's a lot of ways into the hard point, there's a lot of angles to cover. And so far, Ultra with the opening lead, but it's your boy Geo finding his first. And this is the pace thing, too. Again, things slow down at land, so this is the calculated strat. Get in your contest spot and just live as long as possible. So Vegas, very happy with those right side spawns just to take things slow. Attach already pushing out the wings, and right now, Vegas keeping things under control. No flanks coming through just yet. Ultra, they're going to be banging this out for the final 20. They're going to try, but it's the muscle of Vegas Legion keeping it together now. Trades on over to Perch. Finds himself one. That's good enough for now. Over to Nero. Keeps his three spray alive. Makes it a four. There's the contest. Geo dives in the feet as well, and Vegas retain the lead. This is everything you want from Vegas Legion. The perfect opening break. You get the rotation. You settle things as well. And Geo doing a nice job dragging attention back the opposite direction. Nero in the perfect spot to watch the flank, and he just sipped off everything else. Two players in the back. That's going to make it all three. All guns up right now for Vegas. Focus on those back spawns. Perch. Throws a shoulder or two. Envoy, though, cuts him down on land. Geo finds a two-piece. Massive lead right now for Vegas Legion, and they are keeping it going. All of Toronto Ultra coming from the low ground, though. Heads up play out of Geo. Takes care of Scrap. Attaches in the feet. Gets himself another one. As things are starting to heat up for Vegas. And these guys are messing with their timings, too. Scrap is not prepared for Geo to be hitting towards the middle of the map. And as soon as he gets the kill, wraps back and gets the gunny from the time as well. Vegas right now, this is perfection for a Rio P1 and P2 on the rotation though Ultra trying to keep things stable slowing the game down maybe in their favor their opportunity to get back in the game opportunities come plenty here in hard point and Geo once again keeping the role going it's the nades from purge as now you find yourself into the hard point another absolute mix fest but Geo has somehow slipped the net finds himself one and the crossfire is now on Ultra trying to get back into a hard point. They rotate it to first, but it's Purge with the kills. And now, I mean, look, the back spawns are being blocked too by Nero as well. Maybe at least partially. Ultra still have pressure on those back doors, but the timing for Nero on this pinch is going to be key. You see his teammates trying to work through the front. He's made his move, and now Insight feeling the pressure. Plays in the window, plays in the back. The double child is enough, and Vegas have gotten through. Oh, big tags at on, boy. Trades once again, though. Trades again. Ultra come out on top. You don't have the hard point time, though, yet. Scraps unable to get close. It's Geo on the time. Covering fire now from Vegas as you keep those players back as Ultra. They finally get themselves in. It's 15 seconds, but it's still contested. I mean, Ultra, they're just looking for their moment of like a nice four man down to get that spark to get back into the mix because Vegas are just simply staying ahead of the game. Nero is so pushed out P2. He's just going to get freebie kills. In this intro time, Vegas are slaughtering them on these rotations. Already a 50 point lead. And frankly, they're just going to run it up. Geo is slamming in his first map. He's having a great time. He's 12 and 5. The haters be damned. Hard point up. Over to Purge. Can he get the second? Nearly takes care of everyone there, but that's a lot of damage. Over to Geo, looking for streaks now. 100 point cross now for Vegas Legion. Keeping the play going. His scrap though slides in, takes care of a pair. Trying to drag Ultra into the hard point. Oh, Kleenex finds two. I mean, finally, too. Like, Ultra right now, they're not even putting pressure on Vegas. The rookies get to be comfortable right now on the main stage. And, like, everybody's shooting hot double digits for almost every single player on the side of Vegas. Ultra break the hill, though. It starts with a Kleenex two-piece. Now, Insight trying to make the plays as well. But even then, it is not enough. Ultra for eight seconds to scrap on the rotation. Look who is here first again. It is Vegas time and time again. They're staying ahead of the game. This is our last hard point in the set before we go back to the middle. Nero's spree done. Looking towards that bridge, the bottom side of it. All Vegas so far. Kleenex wins a big one. It gets attached. Three down for Vegas Legion. The hard point now in the hands of Ultra. The comeback is surely on now. This might be their time. Finally able to crank up the heat just a little bit. Stable the game in their favor. Scrap picking up the two-piece and the other players locking down the middle of the map. And Scrap on the five spree as well. Thinking about the crews. Hyper impactful on this map. But Vegas don't want to deal with him. They're going straight towards that time. Yeah, Scrap's on the other side of the map. The fight is taking place towards the top side. And it's the hard point. That's where the aim of the game is right now for Vegas. Doesn't win the fight. Purge ends the spree, and the hard points in Vegas's hands again. Scrap, like, look, couldn't get it done. His teammate lets him 
down just a little bit. The pressure gets given up, and then Purge just gives him the gunny back inside the time Vegas go, and they've just been maintaining this 50, 60 point lead that they got literally from the opening break. So this has been fantastic. Ultra still fighting to get back in the mix. We know they are capable of a comeback, but still a decent bit of time to go. Well, by no means is this map over. Plenty to go here. Insight winning a big one there, keeping Ultra's foothold on P1 very, very much solid. First go around again, it was Vegas Legion in the driver's seat, opening breaks and the hole. Can they do it again with Ultra now in control? These are the breaks you need though for Vegas, right? If this is Ultra's opportunity to get back in the game, this is why you want to go on these pinches. Nero finds the route, goes all the way back around, and now for Envoy, it is just chaos. Vegas, it is perfect. They get the four-man wipe, they bully Ultra out again when they had to be slow and they had to calculate they still execute Legion right now on point on Rio. Can they keep it going? Scrap pokes a hole. Shut down immediately by Vegas. Insight now in trouble. It's looking fantastic for Vegas League in game. Let's see how it sounds in the comms in just a brief moment chance. I mean, look, you got the rotations too. Everything, they're trying to stay up on it, right? You've had one rotation that Vegas have lost and they get the break immediately and they stay on top of the rotation again. It is the clean wipe. It is slow Ooh. and calculated and they continue to fry. That's Nero on a five. Nero on a five and the spawns for Ultra on the far right-hand side of the screen. Oh, Envoy, great shots at range with the rival nine there. We'll get to that listen in a minute. Can Geo get his streaks? He's taken the long way around the scenic route. Someone's on his tail. He's been called out. No cruise missiles for anybody. Yeah, it's a good read by Ultra there and they'll take those spawns in that moment to get the break on P2. They needed a little bit of a gift to try to get back in the game and that is exactly what they received and now the tables have turned. Now the middle map pressure. Kleenex has it under wraps and you try to break through the front. Ultra not letting that one go. Number four though with the spawn out purge. Might be able to gun this player off the hill. 15 seconds of scrap time. Nothing to shy away from. The pinch is there. There's plenty of time to be had. I mean it's a very large lead now for Ultra. 20 and 11 for Nero. As he takes care of Envoy. Nearly takes Insight with him as well. But again, over to that P3 hill, a lot of ways in, a lot of ways out. Geo, you've had a great map so far. What have you got? I mean, now it's time to slow things down again. Try to play calculated. The reads are great on the guy for the back spawn. And now he's just a nuisance. Gets some extra damage, but doesn't get the kill. His teammates so nearby. Nero, he's been on demon time. He gets shut down as well in Ultra. Purge last man standing. Get rid of him. Everybody else now all spawns. These are the dagger spawns to come through. Ultra, solid stuff so far on this B3. We teased you so far with a listen in. Now it's time to go and see how the new Vegas Legion sound on land. Can they get the break? Here's a listen in. And intensity there from the Vegas Legion comms as the scoreline has grown ever closer. Rotation down and Toronto in position to take the lead. And there was a small disconnect between the comms and the gameplay there for Vegas and it's little things like that that can punish you in a bad way. Ultra, they have been down this entire game, but look at them now. They have just taken the lead. That is a massive moment now for Toronto Ultra. Can they give up the lead? They've now got 30 seconds to go here on the hard point and Vegas have been nowhere near it whatsoever. Scrap in the middle of the map. Can't get any more out of that life. Three members of Ultra 
Fontenot left down low. Can attach and Geo break the point? Insight's been slow in the feed, but he's been stalwart in the defense. And right now you're just trying to hold on. Nice win there from Envoy, but it looks like Vegas able to get the break. 15 more seconds on this hill, but even if Vegas get all of it, it's only going to be for a tie and scrap with 30 kills already. Still putting on that pressure. Pressure is certainly still on. Kleenex alive and kicking in the hill. This is massive now for Toronto Ultra. It's a one hard point game. Where to Ali Cat as now we go back over to P1. Envoy's in position. Vegas have come so far. No way they fall here at the finish line. And Envoy's making the hard reads too. He started this hill off reading the fullest of full flanks coming through. And now it is all guns forward. Ultra, they can win it on P1. And this setup is looking very strong. They're soaking away. Attached trying to find the break. Still numbers for Ultra on the point. Nero's on a flank. Can he find any more kills? No. Ultra have held it down. That should be game. Final hit now from Vegas Legion. They've got to go. There's nowhere to go but forward. You're going to run into death. That is Dylan oh. Envoy. Purge though, trying to dish out a little bit of his own. It's survival time right now for Vegas. They're looking for the rotation, but the bodies are falling. Kleenex in for the kill. Can't get it done. Oh! oh comes down to Geo, who's somehow still alive. Envoy trying to win the map here. No, Purge is there with the coverage. It's not over yet. We go to another hard point. Unless Kleenex can make the play. Well, somehow they've made it to pull that off. But keep in mind, it's a flank coming in through Kleenex, but he's going to fall. But Scrap does have that cruise missile. It is the utility off the streak right now that Ultra might use to break this hill. Here we go. Calls it in. This could be the breaker right now. Vegas, they are still shoulder to shoulder. It lands. Last man up, Geo. He's been taken care of. Ultra are in. Ultra with the win. Well, Toronto Ultra answering the questions. Might have been a bit of a slow start, but the turning of the tides, the overwhelming force and the consistency of the gameplay that Ultra always bring rains out towards the end. They were down quite literally the entire game until we got to that 200 point margin. But in the end, it may be just inevitable. A six and one record he saw through stage two in the map ones. They take care of business there and there is a ton of credit to scrap that needs to be given out because everybody was struggling on the side of Toronto. But that cruise missile you saw, it was the stamp on the game that he earned towards the end. I mean, it was multiple sprees that he was going on, but that is an MVP contender for good reason. Fantastic composure there from Toronto Ultra as we look across the stats. Nothing remarkable. Again, kudos to Geo. Five plus K on his very first first match up here under the bright lights a really great turnout but again chance it was the pace ultra they could not keep up with that early vegas legion pressure which fizzled out towards our second set of hard points highlights now boys and girls what an opener that was miami major's not disappointing yet and i feel like the listen that actually had with vegas was pretty telling because obviously in the gameplay they were doing a lot of things right but you felt that bit of a disconnect of like guys maybe a little bit skittish a little bit tough moments where hey man you just need to stay alive in this moment player says he's trying to dies almost instantly after in so close like on the idea front they were there execution slightly off and if you're slightly off against toronto well that turns into a map l and i gotta say for vegas that might be especially punishing the skid row we have for map four i think is the biggest advantage we have for toronto by a mile i think vegas basically have to win the next two maps just to be able to force that game five they wanted the real, they wanted it bad, but that just means the series gets even more difficult as we go down. Continuing to roll through our highlight series, we get ready for the next, but we'll see if those next two <laughs> maps are gonna be tough, Charles. Let's face it, double dose of invasion. We've got ourselves that S&D and the control after that. Will that be the deciding fate here? If this map one had gone the way of Vegas Legion, we may look back and weep for the fans who came so far to see that 25 point game come to a close. Either way though, Ultra, massive composure, as is tradition. No matter how far down they were, I think at one point it was nearly an 80 point game. That for me was one of the biggest differentials. Looking at the game flow and there it is, man. I mean, it was not until the very late stages of the hard point the Toronto Ultra made that comeback, and once they took the lead, they did not look back. It was the 250 for the win. Good stuff to them. Again, classic Ultra, compose when they need it. Can Vegas keep the momentum going, though? Can they keep playing? And even on the game flow front, that is a pretty good highlight of just your example of like when you're going against the top teams, that you have to be perfect literally from start to finish. Yeah. One mistake, one bad hill, you give away that control, and Toronto's a team that is never going to look back. But yes, the math mode, double dose of invasion, as you pointed out. And again, on the control front, you do have Vegas right now, statistically the best defensive team in the game, which is fantastic. Matt, too, though, much more of a shootout, much more of a battle. 
battle. We've seen Toronto on it a few times this year. They're very strong on it, but obviously we got some demons on the flip side for Vegas as well. Nero, the gun was certainly hot on the map number one. You know, he's going to be bringing that to the table as well. First blood when he is on point, one of the better reefers we have in the game. We'll see if, uh, if we can get some of these big plays though, because right so far, man, I mean, I don't think the pressure has hit Vegas Legion necessarily as much. It comes down to like a game execution thing. Still a relatively young team, especially when compared to Ultra. Time will tell if that squad can go the distance, but still, if you're a Vegas Legion fan, you are far from out of the series yet. You've got two very tough opportunities ahead of you to try to get back in this, but I, I'm just happy this is a great series already. That's, that was a banging hard point. I mean, that does answer the question. Like Vegas, yes, the online to land gameplay, they can oh, yeah. be just about the same. So they're just looking for that little bit of an extra push and maybe to come down to some 1v1 ice for a guy like Attached to show off the good stuff. I'm hoping for that for a, uh, a good old round 11 clutch, but it is going to be a fun map as well. I know Purge, a player that we are going to be consistently highlighting, even when his respawn has struggled, which he's improved on mid-stage too. His SND has been on point. So the shot calling and playmaking ability that he has been bringing to the stage uh, as we go into the next map, that is absolutely a player to be scared of. Scared indeed. Uh, I do believe we got a tweet from Dirk, Chance, our buddy Dirk who uh, is asking for us to remove the undershirts and get the hair out. I got horribly sunburned yesterday, Dirk, so I might do it for a later on series for uh, Optic Texas taking on Miami Heretics. The chest hair might be out here in the Sunshine State. Is this the Sunshine State? Yes. Yes, yes. let's go, baby. State. We're in. You already see Ultra again, the, the round one strats that you always have. Got to be very wary of the nades rolling through, the exploding vans and cars that you're dealing with. So got to take your time just a touch. You see the bomb actually in Envoy's hands, going to be roaming down the A street. Everybody else on Ultra playing towards B. So they're trying to show pressure on one side of the map and then swing it back over. And you can see when the pressure's felt on B street, I think Nero and Purge maybe toying with the idea of making moves and Kleenex reading it the entire time. But no first blood just yet. Single bullet would have made the difference there, but Scrap with a lovely angle catches Purge out unaware over to Geo and a real bit of hot water. And he stay alive for a moment. Take this gunfight. Here comes the pressure. Attach on the flank saves his life. The bacon is saved. Nero on another pinch as well. And it all comes down to Insight and Kleenex. Good shots, but not enough. This would be a 2v3 opportunity here from Ultra, but the bomb is down and they are running out of time. And Geo, you can see Red Dot straight through this. He's going to be just in iron this entire time. Very difficult to get through. And of course, in the meantime, Ultra, they have oscillated the map. They've swung the bomb nearly back over towards A, but right now Insight, he's taking his time. Only eight seconds left on the clock, but look at the move there from Kleenex. Able to get you the advantage. He get the bomb down. Geo for the 1v2. Oh, and he's been spied out, I would imagine. That bomb planted. A little bit of damage, not enough for it. Kleenex now on the cross and Geo in a world of hurt. Surely now, Ultra with the overwhelming advantage. Don't fall prey to the youngster here on his first day in the office. Well, he's made it to the bomb, so now the players on Ultra are gonna have to at least start throwing shoulders on it. Insight gets the intel, though. You don't over chow, and if you do, better make sure you get the kill. Insight to Icy, able to get it done. And make no mistake, that is a big round number one from Ultra. That comes down to Kleenex going for a sprint, getting that kill on attach with only 10 seconds left on the clock. A dangerous moment, but hey, for a 2v3, Ultra doing the little things right. And Ultra, again, not showing any mercy whatsoever. Not taking Vegas Legion lightly. They didn't take any unnecessary gunfights in that round. They played the 2v1 very, you know, conservatively, Chance, by all accounts. Kudos to them. It's two for Kleenex, one for Insight. Here we go again. And so painful as well, already having a man advantage that gets tossed away in round one for Vegas. Not easy to bounce back from. Still looks like B Street at least going to be that initial pressure or a middle map square of Kleenex and Scrap run straight at you. You get the first blood and attach though, at least able to trade it out, but that might be an indication of how this map is going to go. Ultra not shying away from the aggression and you're just barely out of your spawn already feeling that pain. Nero manages to grab that bomb immediately after purges drop, so you're keeping the play and the pressure alive. You're not wasting any time here. Very, very important moment now. Oh, as Nero's been tagged, there's no way he gets this plant down without any more heat. Kleenex now trying to move towards the bomb, but it's Gio on the flank. He might have seen another player out as well. Trades are done. It's a 2v2. Gio did his job. Well, now the problem for the other two guys, though, you're worried about the pinch. Insights behind you. You know, Envoy was out front, but the repositioning already there. Envoy taking it from a different angle and attach. I mean, he is not move. You can see he is checking every direction. They don't know where the players are. Finally, though, some intel to play off of. Ooh. And just hunts them down as well. Nero out here shooting. <laughs>
Yeah, he's on demon time. Let's have a look at this kill cam because he hits Envoy. And oh my word, the tiniest of shoulders just to get the centering there. Nero, what a round. And that's that recognition, by the way, if they got the early call that Insight was the guy by DVD. So as soon as he finds Envoy, he gets the kill, reads the gamer tag. And he's like, I know where number two is coming from. So Nero on point, reaction time, incredible. And a nice round as well that Vegas definitely needed. Envo with a bomb in hand now. He's going to make a slow move over towards A. Opening salvo of fire. Doesn't amount to too much at the pro level, but damage, a little bit of information. And Kleenex, he's going to crack that door in, in a moment. He's going to find out that Nero has eyes on. We'll talk about the information on this map. It is every single round. The pro teams are absolutely counting every player on the cross. But in the meantime, Geo just able to get that pick and find the first blood. So he was much more aggro this time playing on the B site. And another advantage right now for Vegas. Now it's just about the commitment. Do not overcommit. If you're going to fall, make sure you get the trade. But Nero, he just dies. No one's there for the trade. We got a 3v3. It's a pick from Envoy. Slowly now. Thinking about the A-bomb site. Kleenex. Oh, he does. He catches a touch out. The Semtex isn't going to land. Purge manages to find Envoy on the other side of the map. A very awkward situation taking place up top as well. There are fights all over Invasion. And so far, Vegas come out on top. That is just enough. Purge with a nice pick. And then attach effectively just bait on that middle tank. His boys pick up the kills around him. And now Kleenex in the 1v3. Good news, he has bomb. Bad news, right into the irons of Purge. Ahead of the game, knew exactly where to look. In Vegas, that is a very strong round. Maybe a little bit spooky with Nero dying with no trades coming through. You get the first blood, you can back up. But after that, no mistakes made. Very solid defensive round. We swap sides once again as our boys of Vegas with a slight lead now. It's two to one. Toronto Ultra now, defensive round. They managed to win their opening offensive. Let's see how it goes this time round. Looks like Nero's going to be picking up that bomb as well. They've only shown one player on the cross as well, so Ultra are going to know that, hey, maybe one guy over towards B, but even with that information, it's still a double stack on Ultra for the defensive end on the B site. But you can see Envoy utilizing that and just being more aggressive and getting in towards Broken. So if you ride back, Ultra have taken space on the B side of the map. Of course, that does mean for Vegas. I mean, you might have a 3v2 around this B site. A lot of utility being used just to get the intel on Scrap, maybe on Kleenex, but they don't connect with anything Ooh. but the kill attach for the first blood. He's now pulled two members of Ultra now over towards that side of the map to try to stop the push. Vegas Legion have found an opening. Kleenex with lovely shots down range there. The nade connects. Nero levels it up. And they keep the life advantage now. Three to two with a bomb being planted at eight. Ah, uh, Kaa timing at his finest though. Attach gonna fall. Now Geo needs to start getting active. Nero's gonna be calling out to him. Well, I need a little bit of help. He doesn't buy him any time. And for Envoy, well, at least step one was easy reads, but Geo, he's taking the deep route, which honestly, that is the play. He's, get, he's gonna keep him guessing. They've got no idea where he is right now. I mean, Insight's gonna hold his line. And in a moment, it's all going to be on. Bomb check, no problem in sight. Plays a patient deep corner with that ultra. Find the equalizer. Ample time to get the defuse. A very solid round out of insight. It, that is sort of insane reads on both ends, right? You see Envoy gets that step one check dark. You know Geo's going to be playing for the late flank. Doesn't see him. And insight just picks a pocket of the map. You're never going to read that pressure. So make no mistake, Geo just makes a play. Ultra, though, they are just too smart to let something like that slip through. And... That is good execution on the round. I mean, frankly, this is four rounds where Vegas could have gotten the job done, but it is a battle against Ultra. Their s and levels up when these guys go to land. Yeah, it makes us sort of ask the question, if you have the advantage against Toronto Ultra, there's still an opportunity for them to take the round. If they have the advantage, there's no way you're winning it right now. That's the way we're playing this search out so far. Still opening salvo. It's that slow B pressure once again. Geo's played aggressive in the previous round. This time back towards the tractor, and you see just a demonic setup inside a cafe. So if Ultra Rapt is back towards A, they might be in for a bad time, but that is not going to be the play call. They are crawling up towards Broken. They're trying to work Geo once again, who right now is by himself. Attaches yet to wrap back, but now you see those arrows start to move. The comms for Vegas on point. The trophy's a little far forward, and now the trophy's gone. Anything you throw now is of danger to Geo life. Eyes on. Here comes the fight. Envoy starts it. He's looking to finish it himself. His teammates haven't got too involved yet. Reinforcements yet to get there for Vegas. They're being cut down as well. 
Oh, the dance as Jerry manages to take one with him. 3v3, numbers starting to dwindle, and Vegas are all over the place. And you also have number one on the map, Nero chasing Ghost. You have a, just a deep route by Kleenex, but the comms are there. Attach gets the call out and makes the read for the 2v2, and that bomb has not yet been planted. Attach can see this the whole way through, and Ultra, you're running out of time. This is a very awkward round indeed. Attach, oh, he's not heard that. Oh, he's heard it, seen it, nearly gets the gunny. Not enough, though. And now it's a 1v1. It's Nero, it's Envoy, and there's a matter of seconds left. He's got to plant the bomb ASAP. P, and Nero has a very good idea where it's going down. He's going to trap him in. There's the stun. There's the free kill. And they get it done again. Vegas right now in their bag on point and everybody doing their job. That was a hell of a finesse kill there from Gio on the tractor because I thought Scrap found the perfect timing to get through. And then after the fact, you heard the comms coming through on the clock. Ultra not giving themselves much room to play with. Very difficult rounds to string together on offense. These teams are getting close, but defensively, both squads right now have been on point. Essentially a 3v1 for Geo on the back of the, the, the forklift a thing just a lot of time bought begging for help as well <laughs> like they are running at me they're on the tank envoy made it to boxes this is scary round up now for vegas legion on offense ultra defensive lineup across the back of the map they're not going to push too far forward it's a 2-2 split as well no like uh map control just yet we've seen envoy get pushed up before this time playing a little bit further back with inside so different duos working together Attach, by the way, playing just an angle. Attach has got the flank the entire time. So yeah, one player takes a step too far forward, immediately gets dropped. And now these two players from Ultra have to fight off three right now for Vegas. This pressure is rolling Yo. in. That is not the start you wanted to see. Nero still on point. Insight going to fall. Advantage Vegas. A 1v4 from Scrap. But again, he is a dangerous man to leave alive. He's going down shooting. He's dealt damage to everyone. Geo takes another crack at it. Nero's still behind the bomb. Scrap could get this done. What an unbelievable situation to be in, though. It's a technical 1v4, and that's the round. Vegas. They don't have that advantage. Get away from them. And this is Vegas showing improvements, too. They've lost rounds in the online stages where Attach might be playing more over towards the treehouse side of the map to try to watch flanks, but you leave too much of the map open. This is where Hoop daggered them, I think, in around 11 when he got too much map control. Attach says, I'm not playing any of those games. I'll go play showers. I'll play the most deep angle imaginable. And ends up collecting that first blood. And then, my God, did his team deliver over by that B site. Vegas, massive advantage now in this game, and Nero on a four spree as well. A cruise missile on a map like this is almost a guarantee. Oh, we're going. Vegas are flying in towards Cafe. Nero's got himself a spa. Doesn't get the kill, though. Nice shots at Kleenex. Purge backs up. The tactical retreat. You lost your point, man. There's no point in sending his life you know, away for nothing mid-map insight getting things going as well as ultra can start to smell the advantage uh, he got in the spot i saw on the player cams try to take a second to relax just for a moment and get ready by the time he does already gunned down still though you're on the attacking rounds it's not easy purge again able to just get another pick and get out with his life the man has been on point in search and destroy but there's the setup for the kill kleenex there to drop him and now this a site completely surrounded they can get this bomb down for free. Bomb down for free. There's a, a trophy in the middle of the map by Tank. That's not left Scrap to have to go clear that out. So now the guessing game begins. Where are the remaining two members of Vegas Legion and where are they coming from? And you got cuts all over the place, right? Kleenex is going to be sitting inside a cafe. Scrap oh, I love reads this. the pressure, goes on a full flank, and a play call like this, absolute dagger in the round. And if you thought it wasn't heads up before, reads it to perfection. His teammates feeding him the right comms. And all that off the back of the first blood that I think Kleenex just gave you for free. That's a moment for Vegas where they just dropped the ball. That was a very, very important two kills to Scrap there. He started to pull the KD back out of the negative. And again, we saw the streaks he had in Rio. In that first map, he's a player you do not want to get hot. He is a deadly, deadly user of that MCW. Two spree for now. Let's see how far he can get it going. Ultra, one away from tying it up. And honestly, with the way the round went before on offense, Vegas might just go right back towards this B site because even though it was double stacked, they bullied him out. But spreading that for the moment, going to be playing for pigs. Scrapped down to 38 HP, going to be forced to back down and reposition. Another 2-2 split, though, but I guess it's for offense and defense. This time, Purge is going to be the distant player in showers. Envoy not getting that broken control as well. Playing it very passively on defense is Ultra. In Vegas, you can see the slow approach there over towards A. Yeah, still looking for an opener. 
waiting for somebody to just sort of expose themselves a little bit decently or otherwise. I'm not sure how many players inside just saw on the cross there, but they're going back and forth. So it's going to keep the counting game a little bit awkward for him. I think the play is on. Kleenex etching forward into the fight. Yeah, 40 seconds on the game clock. It's about time to hit that go button. Towards the middle of the map as well as dangerous. Smoke's out to make the cross, but there's no trophy on the tank. Kleenex going to get it perfectly. He's going to be slowing him down. 30 seconds on the clock. Vegas, you do have to go. You keep it the flank safe, but you're running out of time here. Kleenex could be the absolute man of the moment here as he checks this corner. Holding the line. Nero flies right into it. The push now towards the next. Can't get any more. Purge now keeps the play going. The clock's all running red. 15 to go. And it's inside, though. King of Clutch. You think he's going to get the timing perfect, but now he has to. Get oh! the bomb as well, but not before it goes down. He does have to defuse. He's going against the rookie. This is the clutch moment. The three on the round. Gio, you're up against the King of Clutch, and I think you may have been spotted. Attach has to take care of him. I mean, Insight has to take care of him and get on that bomb. And Insight knows. He saw him the entire way, but now it's about the most difficult gunfight in the game, and Insight doesn't have time to make it happen. Has to shred with the four-bullet headshot. Trying to send it. Forward he goes. Pressure on. The red dot ever closer, but Geo plays his life, plays the time. There's not enough to get it done. Will he get the kill as well? No. Geo, enough to push Vegas to map point. That is a hide-and-seek aficionado right there. We saw Gio do it on the tractor a few rounds before. This time, he gets it done on the tank. That man can dance on the main stage. I got to say, a terrifying moment there from inside. That is a 1v3 that gets turned into a 1v1 instantaneously. But whoever died first in Freezer, give that player from Vegas credit, because if not, Insight kills the guy off bomb in time. But either way, this is map point to tie up the series one to one. Vegas, they came to play. Oh, here we go. One more for Vegas on defense. Ultra, though, far from over. Three rounds in a row could be possible. Geo versus Insight once again. This time, I'm not sure what the hell just killed him there. It would have been the late frag throw. Pressure now on. Ultra with the opportunity to move forward. Here's the check. There's the kill. And Envoy. Oh, did he sneak by? Not enough. Purge is there for it. Not enough for the second as well. It's a 1v3. So many players, they get those kills and they just sprint right into old P1 and get taken down. Ultra playing no games there in that round nine. Quick first blood and the round just dissipates. Envoy as well. I don't know if his spidey senses were tingling, but snaps on that player as soon as he kicks open the door. Still though, map point. One round away for Vegas to tie the series up. See if they can string something together back on offense. This is definitely a team that's had a little more success over on the B site. But they have gotten it done both ways. So that force free for insight as well. Keep an eye on that. Cruise missiles on invasion are very handy indeed. Oh, Scratch Again. starts it off with a bang. That's a wonderful first blood. Yeah, they're breaking out the nades for this one. Two rounds in a row where they're getting done off the util just for that early advantage. And this is a scary moment right now for Vegas. You are feeling the pressure. You just lost your most clutch player. And in a 3v4, someone is going to have to find and make that big play. But it might just be Envoy in the meantime. He's crept up so far in DVD, setting up for the kill. The Hunter, that is Envoy, gives you a 4v2. Yeah, 4v2. Massive advantage now for Toronto Ultra. They have not thrown away any advantages they have had so far in the map. We'll find out if this one is any different when we see that round 11. Insight now closing in on what could be kill number five in a row. And he's not making mistakes either, right? Gets the couple tags in, backs down, trades coming through as well. Nero, last man standing. He's getting shot from every single direction. 27 seconds on the clock to work with. He has bomb in hand, but that is the only good Ooh. news. That might be better. That is an electric shot, but here's the problem. Vegas, their Call of Duty, they've been playing 9 out of 10, but small mistakes they made on the Rio ended up giving Ultra the game, and that is two rounds in a row. We are handing away those first bloods just to nades, and all that to give you a round 11. You have to play perfect against a team like Ultra. It all comes down to this. One more round, my goodness. Another Vegas advantage. We'll find out if they can close out this time round or if Ultra continue to be the most composed team in the league. There is no stress whatsoever they have yet to deal with. Here we go. Round 11. 
That's a quick back down from Kleenex as well. Again, they were just looking for those frag grenades to come through, but no first blood this time. Natasha wasn't shallowing off the rip down the middle of the map. Switching up the tendencies just a tad. Purge as well, some intel. Scrap forced to back down from the nade, but they're just exploding cars, so maybe if they're playing towards A early on, don't have to worry about those explosions. Uh -huh. Scrap's line of sight has been blocked off, and they're going for this bomb plant potentially straight away. Yeah, it's enough to get the bomb down at the very least. A perfect 4v4 retake. Here we go. We could not ask for more. Here in the round 11, the clock is ticking. In 40 seconds, Vegas win the map. And right now, if you're Ultra, you have no information to work with. You're going to have to calculate this round incredibly quickly. There's the first blood, though, for Nero. Nades out, keeping his players at bay. Clock still ticking. 30 seconds now to go. Nero sends it into danger. Oh, it's two there for Ultra. Can't make the mistake, and that might be the mistake that just gets made. Purge and Geo, the two rookies have to clutch. Flying forward, Purge. Check it. Checks it. Gets a bit of damage in. Geo's got to go huge. The, now the number is on. The bomb is being defused, and that is that. Once again, Toronto Ultra. Too composed, too clean, too perfect. And there you go for Vegas. They do everything right until the final moment, and they just give away the collapse. They got the extra damage hit. They had time on their side, but the information, what does Nero think? I just blew this guy up with the car. He's got to be one shot. He goes for the child, but there's two ultra players waiting, and Nero and Attach funnel themselves into death. Three rounds in a row where Ultra able to clutch up and get the job done. Again, Vegas, they look good, but they're not perfect, and that's what it takes. Oh, my goodness. Well, 2-0 in the series. Scrap drops 3K worth of damage as well as we look across our stats. An unbelievable map. A great match there on Invasion. That was a fantastic bit of search and destroy from both teams. Good clutches. Very, very solid rounds either side. But your right chance is one mistake. It's one tiny moment and Vegas are punished for it. That is the difference between Ultra and Legion at this point in time. We'll find out though because we still have another map to play. But so far, so good for the boys in purple. I mean, it truly was just a, a scam moment, unfortunately. And I mean, again, the Invasion troll, Vegas statistically, best defensive team in the game. You like him for the map three, but even now the situation for them to have to be in a situation to win a skid row hard point. It was already a difficult situation to be in at the start of the series. Now it might be looking like a near impossibility, but we get to test their metal, see what they're made of. What do you do in this situation? Invasion control will be our next map. Skid row if we get there and God, that high rise can search and destroy. That'd be a lot of fun. Not sure how that's going to go though, friends. We'll see how everything works out after this very quick commercial break. Major two off to a bang so far. Toronto Ultra up by two. Vegas Legion trailing at nil. We'll find out if they can start to mount the comeback after this quick break. Upgrade your game with a scuff. Save $30 on the official CDL collection at scuff.co slash CDL. Get better with a scuff, the first performance gaming controller. Visit scuff.co slash CDL to change your game. The Call of Duty Week is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Call of Duty League. Look at them Gators. We got ourselves a big match so far to start the day. It's Vegas Legion taking on Toronto Ultra. And if you've just joined us, it's two to nothing with Toronto taking the lead in two incredibly close matches. I, incredibly close, yes, but I think Ultra right now, that sleeping giant, just be slowly woken up on this early day right now on Thursday because they got tested on both the maps. They had an 80-point deficit on the Rio that they just slowly worked back from. It was a 3-5 to five deficit on the S&D where they just put things together. Peach of a nades for two first bloods in a row that they executed. And then that round 11, nice little scam that Ultra took full advantage of. And now 2-0 up in the series. They're going to be as cool as ice. Cool as ice. We'll find out what they're willing to sacrifice here on invasion control map number three almost ready to rock and roll into that one friends we thank you everyone for joining us at home and those folks in the venue it's a little humid outside but it's nice and cool in here we're having a lot of fun so far only the first match of the day and it's already been a banger despite the what 2-0 lead i think vegas have sort of like answered the question of the rookies like on the main stage they look as good as they did if not better geo had a nice little clutch against yeah. insight i'd put that on my wall however vegas were just a small step behind against ultra in the online stage and so far Far, that has been the story of the first two maps. There's good, and then there is great, and greatness is something that Ultra have achieved. I will say, though, on the sake of control, though, it has been a struggle point from Ultra, more so in Stage 2 compared to Stage 1 for the Invasion Control as well. It's only a 3-3 three and three record that these guys have, so it is not the strongest map we have here from Ultra. And again, on the defensive end, this is truly where Vegas have shined. It's Invasion Control. It is a defensive shootout. They have the potential to force this to a map four. Map four, though, it is spooky. Too spooky to maybe show if you're an Ultra fan. They're not willing to let us get there as we now go into Invasion Control map number three. Defensively, very, very favorable for the boys of Vegas Legion. You got to get through those defensive rounds and make sure you do a little bit of work on the offensive rounds, capturing segments on these zones. The team with the most gets that final round if we have to go there. Here we go, though. Map three. It's straight to A as well. I mean, this is have good stuns, See have it. good nades. If you make your way to this zone, which Kleenex already has, you're feeling great. And even on the cross right now, I think Kleenex is going to be unaffected by any grenades rolling through. He's able to heal back up. And one tick of progress is already success on this A zone. Kleenex going to take it before Purge even decides to chow. Oh, no. And the shots like that, Kleenex, yeah, absolute menace on the map. Ooh. But finally, Geo stops him. But yeah, you'll take that from Ultra. That is a nice opening break. You're going to be now as well. Scrap's going to dip a toe. He's got inside to back him up. So two of your AR players now with that lovely long line of sight as our observing team are highlighting for you there. Here come the rest of Ultra. Three members now. Look at a four. We're going to be stacking this bad boy and hopefully getting rid of it quick. But Nero and Perch have a thing or two to say about it. The battle continues. Yeah, Scrap worried about the flank as well, picking a different position just to keep the guns forward. But you do have Vulture doing a very nice job, keeping things slow, getting the guy off the bridge as well. So you might be able to set yourself up for a quick rotation over towards A. Kleenex has found himself behind enemy lines. Question is, what can he do off the intel? You see in the feed, he's picking up kills. Now he's got Envoy to work with. That's two down, could have been three. Geo though, clutching Ooh. up for the team, and he's able to give you two. That is a moment where right there, Ultra, they do get stuffed. They get stuffed good. Purge with bridge control now. Ice towards the A side of the map. That's a long way to go. Purge has got a plenty to deal with now. Envoy up first. He gets it. The trades are there, though, so that gives you a lane to work with now. If you're Toronto Ultra, and forward they will go. Nero is about to running a whole host of problems and oh my god he tried to shoot the floor on the way out it was absolute pandemonium attach might be able to pick up a huge multi kill here it's enough to get the damage oh uh, no i was gonna say i got bad news i saw as soon as no! purge, <laughs> purge died he takes a big look across this stage i think geo might have been having problems someone was stopped on the minimap spinning in circles and okay. i mean an interesting start ultra okay. did get the extra tick defensive clutch up a little bit but it's invasion control why not stretch this out as long as possible. Yeah, well, no, it's not exactly an Arden Forest. You know, we've come a long way. Oh. At... <laughs> oh. My heart. I can't we've come think. a long way. Come on. That was only a minute 50. We're good. Well, we're going to run this one back up, presume, because again, far too early in the matchup to uh, to get sort of uh, nitpicking about who had rounds or streaks or whatever there. So, unfortunately, yeah, we did lose Gio in the lobby. He'll get him back in ASAP. But from Toronto Chance, a very, very strong opening. A zone captured there. A segment or two segments of B. Oh, no, no. B let me start that again. Captured B. One at A. There yeah. We go. Let me restart that sentence. I mean, I really do like the A hits off the opening break, but yeah. at the pro level, it is very 
very much a situation where even if you get the first set of kills, you're not going to have trophies on that second round. You're going to get like wiped off the face of the map. So I think Ultra, as soon as Kleenex got that first tick, they were like, you have fun over there. You are going to die. We're going to go get that other zone quickly. So rank play strats do not always work out at this <laughs> level. But again, even just for that extra tick, that is quite literally the type of thing that decides games at this level. It's a silly sentence, but hey, it's the name of the game. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is actually the name of the game, mate. As the referees on stage are helping Geo get back into Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. He's one scoosh closer now. Now a full scoosh closer to getting back in the lobby. It's just I don't buy the, the boxes anymore. I don't get to see it. Everything's digital these days, <laughs> so I live in the future. I miss out on uh, some of the actual title names, but the grinders that we have on the stage, Vegas looking for the bounce back. And again, you know, impressive resolve, I'd say, for the rookies that we've seen thus far. Uh, a couple mistakes that rolled through in the S&D, but I mean, Geo's been on point. Again, yes. nice clutch under his belt. Purge was picking up picks left and right on the S&D. And we saw what they can bring to the table as well on the invasion control. But on a map like this, long lines of sight and attach and scrap, two players going toe to toe. As stated before, Scrap, one of the best, if not the best Slayer in the game. So his kill production and his damage always going to be just a small step above. But Attach, I mean, he is virtually right there on the KD front, even has that extra edge. So these two players trying to go toe to toe. And maybe Attach might be the guy to wait for like that sort of big pop off moment on the side of Vegas. He's certainly been solid in this series, but we're waiting for that all star MVP caliber player ready to shine. It's, uh, I mean, it's a series away, man. It feels like anything can happen. And this series is far from over again. The way Vegas Legion have been playing, very strong indeed. The Skid Row is going to be so tough, though. So if you do manage to win this, if you're Vegas, you go up against Ultra on one of the best maps they've got. It's going to be a, uh, a tough one indeed. But if you get to high rise, all bets are off, man. I mean, that's where things get really exciting. I, this is why those first two maps were so interesting on the side of Vegas, because map five, they honest to God might have the advantage, at least on the map front. Maybe not on the ice front, but if they can get there, that would be a, a massive thing in their favor. But again, for that skid row, that is a map where Ultra have been perfect. That is quite literally, if you want to beat them on it, someone has to pop off and have just an unreal performance. There is potential on the side of the stage there for Vegas for those pop-off style gameplays, but it is going to take absolutely everything they have. But see, Geo is back in the lobby, getting ready to load back up for round number two of Invasion Control. And Geo certainly looked pretty solid getting that two piece on Envoy and Kleenex always has to feel nice. First stage, man. You never forget it. First time on main stage. First, first match on the big stage, and he's not put up bad numbers whatsoever. Purgis had his moments as well. So Vegas, again, incredibly close to being 2 0 up in the series here. The series is far from over. But those poor bots in the training range, or the, the firing range training dummies, just getting violated by Kleenex. If you've ever watched the man his individual perspective, whether it's his stream or if you've ever been lucky enough to stand behind that screen, I can tell you it's one hell of a show. While we're waiting, actually, we're nearly ready to rock and roll, but we have a scuff play of the game, Charles. We've got a little bit of uh, fun to show everyone. It is going to be that round 11 from the Invasion Search and Destroy, and it is going to be an ultra win. And you know how we talked about that, like, slight disconnect in the comms for Vegas on the map one? This is the moment where I think the comms probably cost them. I don't know if he was uh, having a motor mouth moment, but Nero's probably calming. I had this guy one shot. I just hit him with the car bomb. He's weak. Let's go for the chow. But it was two players waiting in the wing. Nero just slides into death, completely baits his teammate, and it blows open the round. So that's a moment where you have to stay icy. You have the bomb clear. Let the play come to you. But on the main stage against the best team in the game, it is not easy to make those decisions and incredibly costly as well when they roll through. So that might be the player to watch, honestly, for the bounce back. Nero, we know when he's snapping, man shoots like a demon. Has to bring that out in full force. The Tuscan Tyrant, all the way back from the Vanguard season, we really saw Nero get things going on. That Boston breach lineup, man, that was he put on some incredible performances. And there are definitely shades of it here in MW3, yet to certainly get things going, but we're very close to getting the match started. Just thinking back to, you know, Geo's performance so far, chance very solid, but in that round 11, he was absolutely left for dead. Totally alone in a situation, unwinnable. So many little moments again. I'll be thinking about the flank, <laughs> watching these uh, these matches back, and just how close Vegas have come to bringing down the Toronto Ultra Titans. 
Still got a chance to do it, but they got to go big on Invasion Control. And even just thinking like long term, whether Vegas uh, win or lose this series, they have clearly shown themselves to be a threat, right? You had advantages against a team like this. I think every single other team right now that is in this venue, whether it be in winners or losers bracket, know that if they're playing against Vegas, they have to bring their Sunday best because they will be taking a task if they do not. So a lethal threat and a surprise force as well. And a lot of credit to the, the staff as well, I'd say, because as soon as they made that first roster change, getting rid of Stanley instead of Purge with stats like we saw, it seemed like an incredibly bold call. But behind the scenes, they saw so much more than we did. And Vegas right now, they have put themselves up in a wonderful stage too. I mean, 50 CDL points they've already collected long term. That's great. But execution on land is a different thing. Here's the stats once again. Statistically, best defensive team in the game. They're on defense as well, right from the jump. Vegas looking to get things done. And now the question from Ultra, do you run it back? You go for the A hit off the rip? Might as well run it down. Go for that extra tick. Here we go. Take two here on Invasion Control. And so far, so good. Trades are done. Insight's still alive over here by the A Street. But this time, nobody gets into A. Kleenex isn't able to run amok on the inside of the showers and cause a mess. We'll find out what happens now in a moment. The Scrap has definitely seen the heels of Geo, but it's not enough for the kill. The trade's there. Over to B, we're going to go. And it's a solid defense from Vegas. Yeah, and you see a Kleenex right off spawn back over towards that B zone and pushed out past Treehouse. So it is going to be an incredibly slow capture, but an opportunity for Toronto to just play for kills, protect your teammate. And Envoy right now watching his own dark. He's got teammates to watch over him. And awkward timing, though. And that awkward timing is enough for Nero to get two. We see Ultra still cleaning things up in the feed, and that is a 4-0 start from Kleenex. Already thinking about a cruise. I mean, if I got a kill like that, I'd be real happy. You know, he just said I'm on B. I'm uh, capturing B very softly and quietly in the dominant way that Ultra do. Scrap unable to keep that play alive over by the A Street. But you got two segments done at B here. One more to go. And it's all ultras. Yeah, and you see his nades are rolling through on the B side as well. Tobias Yul Janssen backing down just for a moment because he knows that Cruz is in the back of his mind. An extra minute to play with as well. Just under two minutes on that game clock. So much time Ooh. from Ultra, and okay. there is kill number five. If you get this cruise, honestly, with the round is, or the way the round is shaping up, might just be able to call it straight away. He somehow has the foresight. Every single angle he's looked at has found a player. Envoy catches that one upstairs. Number Beautiful. six, cruise missile secured. And now the pressure mounting. Kill number seven as Kleenex starts to heat up. And the way he's backing down, well, his teammates are still getting the kill, so everybody's getting in position. Nobody able to cross. You get the stuns out as well. You can just make it to the zone stop the clock again this is perfect right now for toronto oh. until purge guns you down and purge able to pick up two as well a hell of a moment there from the rookie things could have spiraled out of control i know jeremy studs fist is in the air somewhere right now scrap up close nero damage dealt not enough to take care of purge again a three spree for him right now trying to keep that front line safe and forward yeah pick the right time to start getting the kills on the defensive end still have to deal with the crews and it's still one of those things is that if a moment goes by, you can get punished, but Ultra, maybe on that push, bit off more than they could chew. Flew into death, and you're right back virtually to square one. Three players working up the B street. Maybe good news is you have Vegas turtle just a touch, but for Nero, this is business as usual. DVDs, he'll make this his home. Oh, yeah, man. Trying to hold it down for as long as he can, but Envoy comes on through. Starts streaming services, putting DVDs to bed right there. Over to A now. We creep and crawl for Toronto Ultra. 30 seconds to go. Yeah, hiding spots as well there from GL. Picking tight oh. angles and fantastic shots as well. That is scrappy. He just gunned down. So, again, we know the kid is a shooter. We know Purge has some corners. Number seven and eight, Insight and Kleenex working together. And Kleenex, well, can't check it all. Kills get traded out. 13 seconds left on the game clock. And it's looking like Vegas might remain perfect on defense once again. Oh. There's an opportunity for Insight. And there it was. Snuffed out by Purge. Good work from him. Six and four on the round. No more shenanigans. We put that to bed. Vegas Legion take the lead. And if we want to keep talking about the moments that the rookies for Vegas have been having, that two-piece from Purge when the guys actually made it towards that A zone, quite literally the difference maker. That could have been a perfect round from Toronto. If you win a round like that on offense, that is almost enough for a map guarantee win. But Purge there to shut it down, keep his team's chances alive. Now they get their turn to attack. A little bit different, though, on the round number two. If they ever get this break towards A, they will have trophies to work with. But 
That doesn't mean they'll go for it. Looks like it might be the old standard purge. Left alone by the A site just to be a nuisance. Everybody else straight towards B. Scrap's got a bit of work to do here. He's flying solo for a moment. Purge's first blood is going to help out Nero as he dancing around. Oh, wow. Scrap fights too. His bit of work is now complete and the B capture has been completely stunted. Can attach at least close out that first segment? No, he can't. Huge work out of Toronto. Oh, Attach was trying to keep up the pressure because if you lose the pressure, you might end up getting spawn trap. Great reads though from Geo just to pick up the flank. Scrap next man in line. Vegas need to make him fall because if you get shut out on defense, it's the same thing on the tick front. You can't afford to have a bad round on D and Scrap right now. Can't get number six, but that is a nice big moment for him and sets his team up for the flank. Right now, Ultra just incredibly annoying. And they're just slowing the pace down. Vegas, you might be stuck in your spawn. Oh, yeah, you're in trouble. And Envoy, it might not be Dylan Hannon's middle name, but right now he is a living embodiment. Pressure now open on the A side of the map. Flying forward, we've got the opportunity now to get onto A if you're Vegas Legion. And Ultra might have overcommitted. One player falls, and now you get two players stacked on this zone. That is going to open up the pressure completely. And they got the trophy as well, so Ultra has to be quick on this retake. Insight running on a tear. Ooh. He's got the pistol. Geo, though, for two. Alive on the hill until Scrab gets him out, and even on the cross, Envoy is dealing death. Statistically, not a very solid team on defense, but so far, brilliant from Ultra. Lovely work now on the approach towards B, but Kleenex has already managed to get in the top broker. A big deal right now. Vegas fly forward, finding the kills. You've got to guess correctly on the approach and inside. Finds a beam or two. Oh, Kleenex has been backed up. This might be enough. It is. Geo's in. Dive on the point. Scrap on the pinch. Can he get the fifth? No need. Envoy's there. That's the round. Uh, yeah, this is devastating too if you can't get it done. And how could you when you're flying into death like that? Talk about statistically the best team on defense. That is round win percentage when it comes to dominance. Ultra at their absolute finest. That is option number two of how you want to win these games. Just don't give them either zone. A single tick on the attack and a devastating moment. And a lot of credit to Envoy as well when his entire team is going to swarm that A zone. Envoy can help you out with the pressure, but he turns for the spawn kills at the perfect time to make sure nothing gets given away the scoreboard might be tied up at one to one but right now ultra odds are massively in their favor let's look now to their attacking round a stronger commitment here from vegas legion towards b envoys pop dead silence he might be able to cause a tremendous amount of damage oh there's the first big work now ace of the map all good vegas legion now trying to stay alive scrap toe to toe with the touch Big moment here. Yeah, Attach is doing a really good job because if you're Vegas, you want to force them and back them down off this B zone. You also have Purge maybe waiting for the timing to go on the flank, but only two players right now for Vegas that are actually defending this B zone. And for Ultra, every gun is here. On to the point. Slow cap. Purge, oh, can't get through. Envoy covers it. Giro now towards the front line we go, but oh my God, it's an absolute hail of gunfire. The firefight is basically done. It's overwhelming force from Vegas Legion. Keep Ultra back for now. Envoy's trying to in and out right now. Just buy some time for the team. Well, Ultra Ooh. can't buy that space, but the space might just be Dylan Envoy. He picks up two, and now he's just forcing players like Geo to turn on the minimap so his team can actually work towards this B zone. You see how concerned Vegas is about this A pressure, but if you give away B, that still might be the game. It's the full stack coming through Ultra. They know they have the tick advantage, and that might be the play that gets that guarantee long term. That B zone, Vegas. I mean, they're just handing it away. Yeah, second segment gone. And don't forget, two cruise missiles on the side of Ultra to play with. That's a big deal. I mean, this moment, too. I mean, I know Vegas are going for the pinches, but that's after the B zone is secured. So the kills are great. The, like, potential to win the defensive round for Vegas is fantastic. But that was a moment where they needed something extra. And I think Ultra showed off the distance or the difference between the good and the great. But a minute and 15 to work with. Ultra still keeping that pressure on. Slow approach, good comms from Vegas. Purge is ready for the fight. And it mattered not whether he was ready, it was Envoy right now, and he's shooting immaculately. 17 and 11. Might be able to get himself another streak in a moment. Could call it in now just to soften these players up. Geo. Welcome to land, son. Envoy's on a five. Yeah, Envoy built different. Does get caught down on the cross, but you see he's bought his teammates the space. So now the time is being stopped. On the hill, though, Nero wins a big one. 
But Ultra right now, still continuing to keep the pressure up. Jamie inside might only have five kills, but he's at least in the right spots, getting a couple tags and keeping these players pinned back in their spawn. Toronto Ultra right now, they're just looking for their moment. Wait for these boys to push forward, find a kill or two, maybe call that streak in. Oh, this is starting to look dangerous. Envoy's in the back line. The spawners are still close. You gotta get these boys off the point. Geo manages to save the play for now, but it's in sight. There's the contest. Nade through, not gonna be able to get it done. Vegas, stay alive. 20 to go. Yeah, there's nothing you can do at this point. You're spawning over towards Palace. You got to sprint across the map, and you are just going to sprint into death. But all things considered, again, on the tick front, Ultra just have that extra edge. The dominant round they had on defense is that difference maker so far. So Vegas, this is pressure. They're going to have two rounds to play with. They're going to have to win on offense. Oh, dear. Well, Vegas, they take the lead for now. But if you're following the script at home, Ultra have managed to do the deed. Got to win that attacking round if you're Vegas. The stacks right now, the, the segment captured, definitely in the hands of Ultra. And look and see how they can play this defensive round out. Unless Vegas you do what they do, man. I mean, this could be it. Uh, you get two tries. It's an advantage in the game. It doesn't feel good to be on the attacking rounds, but again, with two attempts, maybe they can pull off something incredible. I know round five cheese has been a theme on this map as well. Magical things can happen, but off the break again, Purges, his job is just to be annoying down that A street, buy your team a man advantage on the other side. Double stack coming through as well, so fairly quick progress on the B zone. If you get it this early, that's going to be a ton of time to play with, but still we know how these rounds play out. For Vegas, it is going to be a long way to go. Strap in and get ready. 220 to try to string something together. That's a lifetime. That's so long on this map. Attach on his five is complete though. Geo dancing with insight on the back line. Pressure is there now as Ultra top side of the minimap. That's all them. Will they push the spawns? They are. They're going to try to drive Vegas back into that spawn. Not let them get anywhere near the A side of the map. And keep in mind for these two potential attacking rounds, Vegas going to be working with. They have to work against a couple of cruise missiles. You see one in the hand of Envoy as well. But there's going to be, a, again, a multi-step process to try to win this game. It is going to be a slow grueler. You get to test their metal, see what Vegas are made of right now. Just trying to get past Envoy, Double Chow coming through. Well, that's step number one, about eight more steps to climb. Well, the Double Chow means both those players were hurt. That means they both have to regen before they push forward. Scrap's going to have awareness of where they are. All those bullets count. Envoy off spawn into the feed. Purge is gone now. Scrap joins them alongside as Vegas have been absolutely isolated on the top side of the map. Kleenex's hands have gone numb on the bottom side. No one's coming close. Yeah, I mean, he's got his feet up over towards Bridge. Vegas, I mean, they're just funneling into some of the worst spots imaginable. Getting killed off the cross, running into death, but right now they are sticking to that game plan. Three players have pushed up through the B street and slammed. Well, you do all that and players off spawn going to be having to deal with insight and guns up in the back line. A little bit of clearance in Vegas. They are grouped up together. And Nero has made it behind them. Right now for Toronto, they are turtled. Oh, scrap. He might be able to single-handedly bring down the Vegas expeditionary force. But the first of two cruises. Bang. You know, the backside of Laundry Envoy is going to only get information. Not enough to really make the play happen. 30 seconds to go. And look at the spawns. Actually, you have a couple players right now for Vegas. They're going to be closer to H3. Nero wins the gunfight on the point as well. You've stopped the clock with less than 30 on it. You might have lost your spawner, but you do have help on this cross. No trophy. Geo's trying to find a kills in the middle. Nero's on the point. Here comes the hit. Pistol to the oh, He finds one! Not enough to keep the play alive, though. 25 to go. Burge has got to keep it up. You're going to have to make moves as well. Be a little bit aggressive. The Ultra players are pushed deep into their spawn, but with 17 seconds left on the clock, you know, you're going to have to flood into death. you got to make this play happen. you got to make it happen fast. Last one. Scrap gets away with it. What a pain in the ass. Kleenex. The eyes aren't on it, but that's not going to be a problem. Attached now in a world of hurt. Done. That should be the round. And oh dear, the final round of invasion control we now go to. And the small bit of good news for Vegas, you have burned one of the cruise missiles that Ultra have to play with. The bad news might have another in the hands of Kleenex, and it is still a round of attack. I know they are one of the better defensive teams on this map, but their offensive has not been quite as strong. They've created maybe two moments where there is an inch of possibility, but on this map, it takes a mile. Yeah, an inch ain't enough here in Invasion. 
Oh, here we go. Vegas Legion have to attack again. Ultra, another defensive stronghold for them. Chance, though, it's not super easy to do it back to back. Eventually, your team, your, the other team's going to find a way in. Vegas, all of their hopes now lie on capturing A and B. Hey, look at the setup on the defensive end from Ultra. Like a triple stack over towards the A zone, just in case things were going to get mixy. But Vegas not even playing with the idea of that opportunity. Purge, though, able to pick up two, and that's three down in the feed. Purge the constant man applying this pressure over towards A. Well, now he's got his teammates helping, swarming around the zone. Geo stopping the clock. His teammates have time to play with, but almost nobody can get anything done. Nero behind enemy lines, but he is completely isolated by himself. An envoy looking to take him down. The hit fire bullet going to do it. Yep, there we go. Over towards the B zone. And Geo, it turns inside, inside out. And now you've got the B zone captured. Two minutes and 20 seconds, 27 lives. So Vegas Legion to go on the offense. And I will be so excited if Vegas ever actually start working the A street every time they're working through B. Uh, they get punished. That's the start of the punishment. Envoy is 28 kills so far in this game. And even though Purge wins his one, easy <laughs> trades there from Ultra, a four-man wipe. And it looks like they are just committing potentially towards this B Street or maybe some routes being taken. Vegas finally trying to mix things up. Scrap will be the player over towards the bridge they have oh. to deal with is Nero working down B. Scrap against Field. Four we now go. And Kleenex is still proving to be an absolute nuisance over here by the B side of the map. It's a straight up line down the middle of Vegas players. Can they find a way forward? Kleenex is going to do what he can to soften them up. Those boys in the middle of the map. Oh dear lads, you're in trouble now. Scurry, scatter. Will Kleenex be able to thread the needle? Impact, no joy. The play's still alive. And now these players for Vegas, and I say these players, well, change it to player. Attach has to stay alive, and, well, he simply cannot get it done. He gets one kill, and there's two players there for Toronto to get the trade. I mean, a small bit of good news. You burn that second cruise. Now everything is 50-50, except for the part where you're on offense on invasion. So it is more like 80-20. Burge now in trouble. His teammates still going huge. Nero cuts down two in the middle of the map. There's an opening now to fly through. You've got onto the zone for a brief moment. Nero trying to cause problems. He has options now to wiggle around. Kleenex now causing the damage. That's an opening. Purge has to go huge. Purge taken care of. Over to Geo. They just can't get it done. They can't find those extra kills. Even after the three-man wipe, the trades are just too quick. And Insight putting the pressure on Bridge as well. He's out here challenging. He is buying you some space in Vegas, even though they created an opportunity through the A Street. It is back towards the dagger. They go. Oh, no. Scrap looking at three here. Slides into Geo, keeps his teammates alive and kicking. 30 seconds to go in the series. Envoy finds it up close with the MCW. The numbers are not on the side of Vegas Legion right now, but the placement might be. Oh, that team kill doesn't help. Can Nero keep them going here from the back line? It's a three spree, but the clock is ticking. I mean, that's great centering, but I think he might get shot in the back or Envoy just does it from the front position. And now Purge, he is kind of in between enemy lines with seven seconds on the clock. You're going to run into death. There is simply nothing you can do. Toronto Ultra, they're going to get it done in a 3-0 fashion. Welcome to Florida. Not a bad showing whatsoever from Toronto Ultra, but they certainly went the distance there with Vegas Legion. They'll take that as they march further through our winner's bracket, but I think the consolation certainly goes to the Vegas boys. You had this series in a chokehold, those first two maps, and you let it slide. We'll see if that bites them. They'll fall down to the lower bracket. We'll see more of them later on in the weekend, but not a terrible showing from Purge and G on their first showing here on LAN in the CDL. It's not an easy thing to do. <laughs> I, I, they had the fans on their side from start to finish, so I'll say that. <laughs> look, they had good moments, but unfortunately against Ultra, they just needed great ones. We saw those stats at the end there for the page. Scrap doing what he does best, dishing out damage from start to finish, led the lobby by a country mile. Him and Envoy absolutely feasting in that game, especially so on the defensive end. That was the difference maker on this map. It was the dominant round that they had on defense where they spawned trapped them never took their foot off the gas and even on those first two maps under scrap a massive factor in the comeback on rio and again as a team ultra well coordinated they were down five three but they fought right back in the series maybe that answers a small question there from ultra s and d woes have been a bit of a struggle point throughout stage two and things were certainly looking scary but they did ice up in the end scrap was a deciding factor there in the invasion as well six 1,736 damage as well. 225, 6, 5, 3, 2. A tight series indeed there.
Vegas Lee 